friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Today, we are doing something that I don't often do here on my channel. We are talking about the worst beauty products I have tried in 2017. I always have to say the disclaimer, things that may not work out for me may work out for you personally. <laughs> what? Personally, don't take offense. This stuff, oh my gosh. I'm like stuttering because that's how much I don't like filming these types of videos because I know that people probably put hard work, I'm hoping, hard work and research into these products. So it's not me bashing the products. That's not what my channel's about. But I do have to let you guys know what doesn't work out for me because I very rarely do that. I mostly just tell you, I love this, I love this, I love that. But I do try products that I just don't love sometimes. So Lego, first up. My first ever time, and by the way, you can tell these are empty. Specifically the body wash, I used all of it before I wanted to tell you guys I don't like it. These are the first products I've ever tried from, I hope I say this right, L'Occitane? I'll put the name on the screen. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced L'Occitane. I don't know, it's French. If you're French, you probably say it way more beautiful than I do. So this is the um, Bath and Shower Gel Cherry Blossom and then the Shimmering Lotion and Cherry Blossom. These did absolutely nothing for my skin. First of all, I feel like this actual shower gel dried out my skin. And then when I would use this lotion, it did nothing. It was like I was just putting water on my skin. No moisture in these at all. I did not like them. And honestly, because these are the first products I've ever tried from the brand, I'm kind of like, do I really want to buy anything else from them? If you guys have any products that you like from them, let me know in the comments down below. I basically thought that L'Occitane, L'Occitane, whatever, is like a higher end version of Bath and Body Works. Like I thought they used maybe better ingredients, but when I looked at the ingredients list, it's kind of the same thing. It is made in France, which is cool, but it just did not moisturize my skin and I used the entire thing. So I don't know. If you guys have any products from them that you really like, let me know in the comments down below. I don't wanna just try two products from them and never use anything else from the brand. So if you have anything you like from them, let me know in the comments down below and I'll give it a try. Next up to stay on the body care theme, this is from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is a grocery store chain. It's like a, I like to call it like a smaller Whole Foods, a more affordable Whole Foods. I think they're nationwide. So this is their pumpkin body butter. It says it has coconut oil, shea butter, and pumpkin seed oil. This smelled amazing, it felt amazing, and it like moisturized my skin. Not at all, not one bit. I felt like when I put it on, my skin was actually more dry than when I didn't have it on. It's very thick, it felt great, but it just did not moisturize my skin. And I don't know if you can see that, but I used all of it. It's totally empty. I really try to use up products before I tell you guys I do not like them because I don't take that lightly. Like I said, I don't get pleasure out of like bashing products or brands, but if I just don't like it, I don't like it. And if I cannot use up an entire product, I really don't like it, like this next product. This is from a Milani. This is the Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. Um, I heard about this from, I always wanna call her Jam Beauty 89 but now her channel's just Jessica Braun now that she got married. She loved this stuff, I can't stand it. It's basically a sugar scrub, so you're, let's see. It says, apply a small amount with finger and gently scrub lips to buff away dry flakes, tissue off. This did nothing for my dry lips, and I have extremely dry lips, so I was so excited to try this. It smells great, it smells like brown sugar, vanilla, feels great. I accidentally tasted it. It tastes great because when I put it on my lips, but it didn't do anything for my lips. It felt nice, it was very relaxing. Like it's nice to feel the scrub of the sugar, but it did not help my dry skin, my dry lips at all, one bit. So this is one of the products I didn't even finish because I just thought it was pointless. I was like, this is doing absolutely nothing for my lips. No, no, no. If any of you tried this and you like it, let me know down below. I feel like the people that like this are not people with extreme dry lips. Like I'm talking about my lips are so dry that sometimes I have to use medicated like chapstick. My lips are very dry. It's very odd. My hair and my lips are extremely dry, but like my face is just a complete oily mess. So that did not work out for me. Another product that didn't work out for me is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. And this is the one they made with Shayla. I'm, the formula is the exact same as the normal Big Shot. They just put her name on it. This dried out so fast. Like I bought it 
I used it every day for two weeks and it was completely dried out. And I was like, what the hell? It dried out super fast. Didn't make my lashes really long or um, thicken them up. And I have really short stubby lashes. So this just did not work for me. Did not care for it at all. The NYX Vivid Brights. Um, this is in the shade Petal. Yeah. 06 petal. I wanted to love these so bad because you guys know I'm not a neutrals girl. It's very basically a very bright pink liner. It's a gorgeous color, but it skips around. It it comes out in chunks. And I was like, what the hell? I bought a couple of these and they all came out chunky, which is the exact opposite of what you want when you're using a bright pink liner so i really like the color selection i love that nyx comes out with so many bright colors because like i said i love green blue orange neon and i really wanted to find a good affordable liner but it just came out chunky um another nyx product that i wanted to love these this is their uh I've had it for so long. The Liquid Crystal Liner. They have so many shades. These are so amazing. The consistency is awesome. Glitter liners. They have pink, green, blue, silver. It burns the hell out of my eyes. I put this on my eyes. They start, my eyes start getting little bumps, and it just burns. It feels like someone is setting a match to my eyes. Now, this probably doesn't happen for the majority of people, but I have very sensitive eyes. I'm allergic to something in here. It's horrible. I wish I could use it because I love the pigmentation. I love the consistency. I love the color selection of those glitter liners, but I've tried many different colors and it burns. It literally feels like someone put like lighter fluid lining my eye and set it on fire. I'm not exaggerating. That's how bad it feels. I have to stay a hell away from that. I'm wondering when I put it on my hand, it doesn't agitate my hands, my hands, but my eyes are very, very sensitive. Next up are these stupid, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not, I always say, I'm not a bashing channel, and I'm like, these stupid pieces of crap, these silly sponges, I tried silly sponges, beauty blenders, silly sponges, sponges to put on foundation, I just don't like them, it just smears the makeup, basically you're supposed to use this to put like foundation concealer on your face, like a sponge, it's supposed to be cleaner, easier, ah, no, 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 goodbye, <laughs> moving on, I got this early in 2017. This is Pure, not P-U-R Cosmetics, but P-U-R-E Cosmetics Buff Collection. This came in a boxy charm, I think. These colors look amazing, looks gorgeous, powdery as all hell, not pigmented, not long wearing. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the Naked palette. I just couldn't get down with it. I tried to use it many, many times. Did not like it. Next up, we have the e.l.f. Peach Please. I think this is, I think it's an eyeshadow palette. I picked it up from CVS. Not pigmented at all. The colors basically just blend together. Um, it's very powdery, wasn't super pigmented. You can see on my skin tone, there's the swatches. You can barely see it. It just all blended into nothingness. No, 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 no. I've never really been a fan of e.l.f.'s eyeshadows. I need to try some of their new formulations. This came in a boxy charm. This is from Beaut, B-E-A-U-T-E -E Basics. Um, it just fell apart. <laughs> I never even used it. I literally just took it out of the boxy charm and that happened. So I was like, oh, okay. And you can see the glue and everything. I guess they didn't glue it on properly. Okay, no. This I picked up from a beauty supply store. It still has the sticker on it. It says it was $2.99. This is a blush palette, and I guess the brand is called She Makeup. It just says S-H-E Makeup. Yeah, She Makeup, and this is their mineral blush. This is a hot ass mess. <laughs> it's just a mess. The colors are not pigmented at all. Super powdery. Like, I put it on my face, and it just fell off of my face. I was like, what the hell is this? It's just a mess. It's just a mess. And it's a shame because I was like, maybe I could recommend this to the peeps. It's $2.99. It's affordable. It's huge. I cannot. I can recommend that to the trash can. No, 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 no. Next up, this is a new purchase that I'll be getting rid of. This is the Simply Me Beauty. I featured this in the 7-Eleven Makeup. This is 7-Eleven Makeup's brand. This is the color dark. This is the darkest color they have. And let me show it to you, friends. This is not dark. I don't know why I just put so much on. That is light. So that's the darkest shade they have. 
totally not usable for me at all so that'll be going in the trash i would pass it on but i don't know anyone that's this shade exactly either everyone i know is either too light for this or too dark so next next up we have the illa masca paranormal eyeshadow and let me show i've had this for a while i think i bought this in the beginning of 2017 first of all all of the colors are falling out. I don't know if you can see, <laughs> they just fell out. Like that just happened. And they're like these cream, basically cream colors. Like here's the orange color, let me show you. Let's see if I can even get a good squatch. Squatch. I tried to use this so many times, the colors just were not showing up pigmented. It looks okay there, but let me show you a swatch. Like just not pigmented at all, super odd formula. I guess they're supposed to be a cream shadow color. They're swatching okay right now because I'm literally like pushing my finger into them. They just fell apart, they're a mess, they move too much, so no on that one. Next up from Ardell, we have the Double Up Lashes. These are top and bottom lashes. These are crazy. First of all, the top lashes look like a freaking cattail. And then the bottom lashes are so small and tiny, which I guess is supposed to be good, but they wouldn't stick onto my eyes. They were a mess. I'll never try these again. I've always wanted to try bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are so short and stubby, but I think from my eye shape, they just don't work. Uh, next up we have from Ofra. This is the Fix Line Eyeliner, and this is in the shade... It doesn't have a shade name, but it's a bright orange shade. It dried out in less than like three days. I opened it and it started drying out and it's super chalky and crumbly. I tried to use it as an eyeliner and it's basically turned to clay. It's very odd. I bought this on, I think, Coat Look when it was on sale. Uh, I just, that was a mess. Just a crumbly, hot mess. And then lastly, from NYX Cosmetics, we have their, I cannot read it. This is, oh my gosh, the Color Payoff Effect Studio Dramatic Liner. And this is in Extreme Plum Purple. This is beautiful. I, I don't know what about NYX eye products that I'm allergic to. It's a beautiful purple liner that goes on amazing. The consistency is great burns the hell out of my eyes like as soon as i put it on those bumps i told you about earlier appear and it literally feels like someone just set a match to my eyes it's horrible it's so bad it's almost scary like i i remember i was finishing a look and i loved the eye look i had like glitter and purple eyeshadow on and i wanted to like purple overlook purple is my favorite color if you can't tell by the way and I was finishing it off with this liner and it just burned my eyes so bad that I had to take off all my makeup and start over. So I don't know what it is about these NYX liners, the glitter liners, and then the Vivid Brights. They burn my eyes. I keep trying too because they come out with such great colors, super affordable, burn the hell out of my eyes. So. That's it for me, friends. Those are all the products that did not work out for me last year. Let me know down below if you've tried any of those, if you like them, some products you tried last year that you don't like. Check out the videos on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you soon. Bye.